For more than three decades, the Actors Theater Workshop has utilized its theater education techniques to give individuals, especially at-risk and homeless youth, the tools needed to realize their potential and change their lives. A theater is a center of a community because theater represents the struggle that's going on in the community or the world. That's what a theater is. A theater is a place that you go to see the conflicts of that community played out in a positive way. My name is Victoria and I'm 13 years old. Hi, my name is Zaire. I want to be a fashion designer, a singer, and a scientist. A lot of kids with problems nowadays, and I really want to be a part of helping to resolve that problem. You guys told me that there was more to me than just a shy little girl, mm -hmm. and that's helped me throughout all my interviews, through school, and through the jobs that I'm holding now. And it's because of the Actors Theater Workshop and people like you, leaders like you, who've helped mold me and helped me to be the person that I am and the person that I plan to be in the future. You have to have a vision of what you want in life. Start formulating that vision now. Meaning, what do you want to be? I am now the Director of Operations at the New York City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. With us today from the Actors Theater Workshop is founder and artistic director Thurman E. Scott and Salima Arzu Brown, a graduate of the program. Thank you both for being with us this afternoon. Thank you for having us. So nice to meet you. Man, and I said it to you before we started, 30 years you've been around, which means you must love it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> but it also means you must be very good at it. What, and look, you could have been doing anything. You could have been spending all of your time perfecting your own craft on the stage, but you really chose to use a big part of your time to, to change all of these young people's lives. Why was that important for you? Well, I, before I, I founded the theater, I've always worked with um, children. I've had programs in prison. I've had programs at the Board of Education. So I saw that I could make a certain kind of difference. Mm -hmm. And when I started working with children, I saw that uh, um, there was, I had a, an understanding, I had a lot of background with children and, and, and uh, theater, but I saw that uh, um, I understood children. Mm -hmm. And I think that some of it had something to do with my own background. I think that I felt there were certain things that I needed as a child myself. And sometimes when you don't have something, you know how to give something. Mm -hmm. And so myself, uh, I, uh, um, I looked at the things that sort of molded me, and I felt that I had a great understanding of it. And um, I wanted to give the children things that I knew they needed. What, what are those things that you don't think you got, but you knew how to give, and do you think these kids that have come through your I life I think they it? wanted to, to be listened to. I think that all humans want to be listened to. And I think that all humans have a great potential and all humans have a great potential to make a mark in this world. What is it about, the, uh, about educating these young people through theater mm -hmm. that you think got the message across, gave them the, the confidence to, to, you know, to get on with their own lives, to reach for the things they wanted and perhaps go to the next step? Opening the imagination. Mm. Opening the imagination and probably that was the power that I felt as a child. I can imagine, I could dream about being other places. Mm -hmm. And so that, that then encouraged me to have curiosity. Yeah. With curiosity, then it would make me reach beyond. And so the first thing that I think that I open for the children is open their imagination to make them curious about life. When you become curious about life, you dream about things, you are other places, you're interested in books, you're interested in new ideas. And with the wealth of knowledge and the dreams and the ideas and the curiosity, whatever negative things happen around you, that doesn't touch you because you have your head and just you go someplace else. Meaning you have a wonderful vision for, for life. Yeah, and you, have, you are open to the possibilities right. for your own life. Right. I'm going to bring yeah. Sulma yes. Arzu yeah. that's right. into this conversation yes. because you were a young person yeah. 
through the program and I heard a little bit of what you said about what it did for you and I'm thinking what he says he wanted to do for for young people in his life he did that for you I am a product mm -hmm. of the Actors Theatre Workshop I'm the product of this man taking me in and just embracing me I didn't even understand uh, the term at-risk <laughs> youth but I had a wonderful godmother Maria Lemansky and she was able to see that hey you know what my daughter and, and my daughter's best friend Sulma live in the Hunts Point section of the Bronx not a lot of resources mm -hmm. out there for all of us but I know that these girls are meant to do something big mm -hmm. she found out about the Actors Theatre Workshop made her way to my mother's house and said your daughter and my daughter will be at the Actors Theatre Workshop every Saturday. And they even taught us how to take the train. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I learned about the shuttle. How old were you? I yeah. was 12 years old. 12, when you first started? When I home. first started. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, when I got there, I felt that I was seen. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe that my thoughts were very important. You know, I'm from a, you know, the Afro-Latina uh, from Honduras, and you know, the, the the Latin culture tends to be very machista. So a girl's mouth had to be zipped, and we were taught that we don't speak until we're spoken to. When I got, uh, you know, when 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 Thurman uh, took us on, he basically said, "No, I need you to speak." Mm -hmm. You know, because there's power within you. It's hard for me to imagine anybody telling you to zip your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and you're actually doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah, you know, but I, I had to. But once I went through the Actors Theatre Workshop, I realized that, no, Suma, you have a voice. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, can I introduce you? Mm -hmm. Yes. The, uh, um, well, what happened was Suma was sitting back at the class, and she wouldn't talk. So I said, you know, um, I want you to come in front. Not only that, you're going to be my assistant teacher. And sometimes I'm running late, <laughs> and you're going to have to start the class. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so you, you issued a challenge. <laughs> so she said, what? You're going to have to teach the class, you see. And she started talking, and she never stopped. Mm -hmm. But that's what, you know, I said, come to the front, you see, and you're going to probably have someday be teaching the class. And so, uh, just, uh, and all of a sudden she was in front, she was involved, she started mm -hmm. talking, and she started exhibiting power. Okay. And from that, from that itself, that it, I said, come in front. And that's what you, that's what you wanted yes, from yes, your children. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know, there's one of your programs that we were particularly impressed with, the Builders of the New World, yes. where you're really focused on, yeah. on homeless youth yes. and at-risk youth. Yes. Um, yeah. and, why was that a, is that a segment of the population that you, you you really feel like there's work to be done that I can do here? Just well, to... we've been extremely successful with uh, um, cre uh, uh, Young People's Creative Workshop. Mm -hmm. And so the Department of Youth Services sent the word down that various theaters <clears throat> creating a program to address homelessness, to address the needs of homelessness, and basically create a program like a home atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And so at the time, um, we didn't have a dollar, we didn't have any money. And so um, I said, well, I can't find a reason not to do it because I have the education, I have the vision, and I went out and got me a, a number of uh, um, idealists mm -hmm. who was very committed. <laughs> yeah. And I said, what I need in order to do this, I need to have someone who's connected with a lot of wonderful restaurants. And I got, we need to get all the food because the mm -hmm. idea is to create a home atmosphere. Yeah, to give them. Right. And we, the theater was fixed up as a home. They felt very much invited in the theater. Yes. And so uh, um, then I created the program and... I had a vision, I, uh, not only a vision for education, but the steps, how to achieve it. Mm -hmm. Because we, you can have a vision, but you need the steps. What and, are the steps each day? And you day? need to be able to get people to understand yes, right, and yeah. see it right, as clearly right, as, right, yeah. uh, as you do. And it was home, and it's still yeah. home to me now. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you still get that warmth, and you still f get that feeling that you're in a safe haven. How can we support? Is this your nonprofit? Yes. How can we support your program, support the work, and where do you get your support from? Well, we've gotten into, we've gotten individual support, we've gotten foundation support, and we've gotten um, individual corporate. We've got a lot of corporate support. Mm -hmm. At this point, at this time, there's a cutback with everything: mm -hmm. foundation and yeah. also corporate and even individuals. And we find ourselves at a time where 
programs that we've made such a huge difference in the world, um, we're finding it difficult to raise the money we need, and certain programs are at risk. Um, it, meaning the fact that are we going to be able to do what it is that we do? Are we going to be able to? This program itself is so much. It's everything in the community is in this program. Mm -hmm. Education, um, police brutality, uh, how to approach a future as, as a young person, um, how to encourage people to vote, how to have power in the community, how to organize yourself, meaning how to gather the community behind you when you go to the bank to get a loan. So you're you know, doing all of those things. Yes, everything is involved a... in the community okay. that we teach. And, uh, oh, and if I may, yeah, I just want to say I am a product of, of that program. And you're right, I haven't stopped talking since. You know, this is what I do on a daily basis. And I'm proud of it, you know, because each one teach one. And everything Thurman has taught me, I have passed it on. And I also get involved with youth organizations. But I do want to say that with the, the world that we live in with social media and all this technology it is important that we teach young kids how to express themselves so that they use their voice in a more positive way mm -hmm. and that is why this I'm supportive of, uh, of this program and we are going to be launching an amazing fundraising campaign and uh, October uh, October 4th and we need a lot of support to keep this going and be able to in, uh, take the positive side out of our kids and teach them how to use their voice to change the world for the better which is what I'm doing right now well said mm -hmm. and the website actors theater workshop dot com correct and it'll list all of the various programs yes. and we should mention there are also things for adults yes as well yes all right well the way I see it is that uh, um, creativity is itself is the great equalizer and all humans young middle or old they all have a story to tell they all have Sort of something to express. Give an example. We're initiating a program. We are running out of time. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes I'm yes, so yes. sorry yes, to cut you off. Right. We're going to have to have you back. You've got so many wonderful programs, and we're going to give you a chance to talk about some of those I other programs. To. I All would right. Love to. First, I want to thank you. Thank for having you. Us. Thank yeah. you for the show, and I want to thank two wonderful, wonderful people that we have: Eileen and Burke, who is, uh, and, and and Zyda Hedry. These two women are strong women. They're intelligent. They're powerful. They're the ones that support to make this really work. Everyday support, and I want to give them and understand them, and I want you to, you know, appreciate them who they are in the world. Well, we are happy that you were able to give them a shout out. Yes, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> they say it takes a village. Yes, Always yes, absolutely. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you both very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>